Travelling to the heart of 1066 country, will the team unlock the secrets of Pevensey Courthouse? The courthouse is situated in the shadow of Pevensey Castle, the landing site of William the Conqueror in 1066. Dating back to the 13th century, it was once the smallest working jail in England and was used as the town hall until 1886. The courtroom has a dock, cells and an exercise yard, which are still intact, but it also houses a unique sinkport seal. The courthouse has a long history of alleged paranormal activity and it will be interesting to see what medium Alan Barney will pick up on tonight. On this investigation we are joined by guests Brian Lambert and Jane Cox of UK BPA, the British Paranormal Association, for a night's exploration at this fascinating location. The courthouse dates back from 1520 and is one of the smallest courthouse within the UK. Prior to this, in 1320, it was probably a wattling dot job and with over the years it has altered from being a tailor-made shop to a library to a museum. The residents and the people that volunteered their time here like to call this more of a living history rather than a museum. As the courthouse stands now with you, when you're looking around um, the courthouse would not have looked as it does. If you turn the courthouse right round and put the the condemned box where they would have st stood in to the left where the beagle is which is the original uniform which was last worn in 1886 that's where they would have been led up through facing the magistrate. Apart from being a volunteer at the courthouse which we run ghost nights and help out the volunteers to keep this building open another role of mine is I run and the founder of the UK BPA the BPA is all about bringing paranormal teams together, working together and help come up with wonderful ideas of reducing venue prices, cheaper insurance and working and building relationships. Over my time being here, um, helping out with the paranormal nights and meeting new teams and guests that come here, there's been a lot of activity from in the cell rooms downstairs to the robing rooms and also in the courtroom where I sit now. We had a team in here that focused and picked up one of the mediums that they felt a tight rope around their neck and we could actually hear the creaking off the rope behind us, which was quite eerie at the time. In the robing room to the right of me, there's some scales there, which a nickname are called the scales of justice, but actually they were used for the taxes for the farmers. These seem to move by themselves We've tested them within here with the teams and also guests by jumping up and down on the floorboards trying to make any movement to see if they move with that sort of approach. But they seem to move and pick up readings around them all by themselves. There is a jailer that walks around the courtyard, the courtroom. You know when he's here, the presence of him is very strong. There's an elderly person that stands at the doorway you also know when she's here. With a team consisting of Mandy, Annalisa, Kerry, Medium Alan Barnett and myself, we start off with a walk round the cells. Hey, for, hey ladies, how do you find well, this place? Well, my tummy's so churning in here. Is it? Yeah. Apart from that, I'm It's like there's another cell, another cell. And I thought, this has got to be it. There's something wrong. Actually, this feels more like an entrance into another cell. I keep getting drawn. 
just put it actually. Through the wall or just... Yeah, as if there should be something else. Another cell. Okay. Something. I wasn't sure if it was there. It feels different anyway to what it should have originally felt like. It's like things have been altered down there at some time. It feels like things were changed around from when it was built before it closed. Things were altered, things were completely altered around, you know, in some way. I get the impression of someone, a man, coming through here. Coming through here, it's like he's coming from somewhere there, coming through here, so it's not this bit, it's that bit. It's, it's again that feeling that there's something more there. Oh, God. Here we are at Pevensey Courthouse, um, we join UK BPA, um, we did an investigation here, also hopefully sort of promote some of their heritage here uh, and save them the, uh, the, the building. Um, and as we started picking up some stuff. And, uh, close up individuals in a minute, see what happens. Um, hopefully you will join us for the night and see what happens. There is more where you want to be, the oldest part, right? Mm -hmm. There. And, and it's like, up this side has been altered and changed. Much more sort of Victorian. And yet that, I feel, down there is... It, it really feels like there's a drastic change in this building. What I keep getting, I don't feel that he's a prisoner actually in any shape. I feel that he, he's running or in charge, you know? Okay. And he, he you know, say jailer, but it's hard. But that's more, you know? Okay. What Alan's saying, I can agree with. Um, with the movement of this jailer or person coming forward in this direction will be explained later on in the evening. Okay. So we've got Mandy and Kerry, yeah. you're in this little cell here, so you can do a little video in here. Mm -hmm. And we'll be around the corner. Okay. Does anyone else want to come in here with us? Okay. Alice is going to come in as okay, well. Yeah, I shall shuffle up. So we'll go outside and go around the back. Okay. There have been stuff in this place at the moment. Oh, good. That right hand side of the wall there. Where well, you went before? Yeah. It's, it's just something. Like I say, I can't get the beard. I can get down there and I can get sort of moustache and the, the whiskers down there, but not the beard. I can't get the beard at all. I'm not getting the beard. And like I say, it's a brown dead rape, and I keep getting that very strong. It's like he's got this. And he's carrying keys. Carrying keys. Carrying keys. With Alan seeing what further information he can pick up on, the girls, along with Brian, undertake a vigil in the main cell. I'm going for my clammy turns, Mark. And both Kerry and Annalisa, feel my head if you want, it's real. I've been blowing on it to call it down. Yeah, you are. Ooh. My top lip's sweaty. Yeah. And I was just sitting where Kerry was and I started feeling like my head was really heavy. So we, so we swapped feel, places to see if Kerry would feel it. I don't feel fine. I still feel it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. You know that feeling when you've got like a, um, a temperature, rather than feeling physically sick, you feel just shaky and not like that kind of feeling? It, it's that. It's not like feeling sick. One of the normal residents, can you come forward please? I mean you no harm. You recognise my voice. We've been down here many times before. Ow! What's the matter? <laughs> you alright? Yeah, something just really punched my shoulder, it felt like. <laughs> it, it could be. You've got a little, hold on. A little. Looks like there's something there. Yeah, so it's hard to see now. Yeah, because this light's not natural, is it? Mm. It actually feels like there's a bruise. Scratch. No, a bruise. Bruise. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. Yeah, you said that before. I mean, it's more it's more beneficial with the women to speak out in these rooms because what does walk here, what we've noticed over the years when we've been doing it, more reactions happen when the ladies speak out. It could be that they don't like females present in the room or they're very keen to get to know the female, if you see what I mean. So. The man we keep seeing coming around that corner 
it's like he he sits there there's something else another cell or whatever there's more and he sits around there and then he steps out to here to look at something going on here or someone knocking at the door or whatever to come in but he's there that's why he keeps replaying that he comes and shows himself there but it's all happening around there and then I got residual of about five people coming around that corner chained and shuffling being transported was the exact word so I take it first or you know, being moved to another prison or but being transported so I can only take it to a penal colony or whatever they were being moved. We decided to take a break and head back up to the courtroom. So what so you got a no, I've got a mark. Mark. Yeah, no, 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 no. I can't see it. I just warm up. Can you see video. it? Just there, Mark. <sighs> see it? Yeah. That way round. And it hurt so much that I thought they were gonna crush my arm. And when we came back up here, I had enormous great big fingerprints on my arm. And the next morning I had four bruises of fingerprints 